Well, Steven Johnson getting the Dragons all pumped up, and you know what? So is this city. They had the largest crowd of the XFL season last week, expecting close to that number today as the St. Louis Battlehawks entertain the St. Louis Dragons here in week four of the XFL on Fox. A little stop early. Marquette King, the former Raider. Kicks this one off. Austin Prohl, whose dad Ricky played here in this dome with the Rams, takes it and gets hit right away. Balls out. Dexter McCoy with the big booming hit just as soon as Prohl touched the football. That ball had hit the ground, it had bounced. Yeah, so it was a legal hit. Dragons recover. Looks like Santos Ramirez got it and saved uh, the Dragons' day. I tell you what, what a fortunate bounce for Seattle. There's the bounce of the football, then the contact. But look, there's four Battle Hawks, and Ramirez is the only Dragon down there, and he's able to corral that football. Good bounce, fighting for it right there. Ball player. Played three full seasons with the Broncos. Here's Tom, who off the play fake. Downfield, and is his tight end, Marcus Lucas. And that's good enough for 11 yards in the first down. Look. So now it's Tamu on second down from the shotgun. Over the middle again, wide open. Carlton Agadosi with another big chunk of yardage, 27 on this one. I just love the anticipation there. This is one thing that Chuck Long told me that he needed Jordan Tama, Ta Tamu to try to develop into as an anticipatory thrower. Watch this. Hits that back foot, and he throws the ball before the wide receiver is out of his break. Throws it just inside the numbers. That is picture perfect right there. Really executing at a high level. Ta into Seattle territory for the first time. They pull it back, and another completion all the way into the end zone. Easy touchdown. St. Louis. De Mornay Pearsonell with the home folks. Another terrific read from the quarterback. St. Louis will attempt a two-point try from the five-yard line. 27 yards on that strike, and what a drive by Tabu. Watch as the linebacker, see the linebacker flow over the top right there. So what does he do? He replaces that linebacker with the football. Pearson L. Pass and run. Tomlin with time. Hit. They get the conversion. Let's see if the quarterback got up. Marcus Lucas made the catch. First. They pull it back. Tomlin. Showing running ability again, and another double-digit gain for the St. Louis offense as the quarterback runs it for 13. What you're going to see here is the defensive end is going to crash down. That means that the quarterback is going to keep the ball. But as the linebacker's coming over the top, watch the running back. Boom, right there. 36, Keith Ford, terrific block. That's what allows Tom Moo to get to the outside. They are operating at a really high level right now. The execution for the Battle Hawks is off the charts. Me and Mott Washington. Go, go! Looking that way instead, pulls it down, and Seattle had that one figured out early. Under which is the longest in the XFL this year. This one from 48 away, and you know what? If you can kick a 58, 48 is no problem, right? The 45 of St. Louis. And a handoff to Kenneth Farrow, and Farrow fighting his way. Good second effort down inside the 30-yard line. Cayo comes on for a 41-yard field goal attempt. The up right and through. Luck counts. The 58% running the football. Yeah, by far the most in the XFL. Keith Ford lowers his head and gets more yards after contact. The hot quarterback. That hot quarterback throws as he's hit. And that ball floats and it's incomplete. Santos Ramirez had it hit him in the chest. Now he's hit as he punts, and the flag comes out. I think it was Marcel Frazier who made the contact. Austin Cole brought down. Now this will be interesting if it's running into the kicker or roughing the kicker. Running in is only five yards. It's not enough for a first down. Is it running? Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense number 57. That's a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Go, 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 go. Tamu caught first down and more into Seattle territory. Brandon Riley 
and Riley moves the change for the Battle Hawks on a gain of 21. Well, if you're going to try to undercut the route, you better be right. Marco Myers, it looked like 24, dove for that ball to try to tip it. A nice little route here from Riley on the outside. Again, great timing from Tahamu on the outside. Myers misses the tip, and Riley keeps himself in bounds. Maybe the best defensive player in this league right now. Here's Tahamu on third down. Throwing a little behind Washington, who gets up, gets the first down, and takes it inside the 20. Great run after the catch. 14-yard line here on third and three. Already up by eight. Here's Tamu on the keeper. Option play, and it's bobbled forward. Touchdown. Wow, what a recovery by Keith Ford. Great hands from Ford. He was bobbling it, it felt like, for about five yards, but the play was made by Tahamu because he got all the way into the linebacker there. As you get in there, and Nick Temple had to take the quarterback, then he pitches it out. The bobble from Ford, who gets some tough running, keeps himself inbounds and finds himself into the end zone and another great series from this St. Louis offense. Boy, they are they St. have been Lewis impressive led by their quarterback. The He's been unbelievable in this game. Running, passing, <laughs> pitching as they go for two. Hey, Monday, Monday. <laughs> Option again. End around. Pierce it out. And he throws it for no reason. He had the end zone in his sight, decided to try and throw it to Marcus Lucas, and it falls incomplete. You can see Jonathan Hayes go, what are you doing? I think past conflict, then they have a hard time gaining that separation. And there's Daniels on the keeper, and that's what he can do that Silvers couldn't. That capitalized on good field position. On the keeper, it's Daniels right up the middle. What a run. Yeah. Stiff arm. <laughs> Still trying to stiff arm, pushing on the out-of-bounds play and lots of pushing and shoving after the play. No flags just yet. Yeah, there definitely should have been a flag on that. There's no doubt in my mind. He carries 27 yards for Daniels. He's come in in relief. Now he throws. Open is his receiver, the tight end, Ben Johnson, and he'll take it down inside the 10-yard line. The handoff, Farrell lowers his shoulder and gets in. Touchdown, Dragons. Kenneth Farrell with his first rushing touchdown of the season. First rushing touchdown at all all year for Seattle, and it could not have come at a more opportune Seattle time. Check out that right side, just smashing down. Oh, Colin Jeter, 81, the tight end, did a great job. And then... The handoff, Daniels keeps it, actually, and gets the extra point. He faked the handoff, and the guy who has run so often, and there's scrubbing going on down there. Tamu pulls it back in, fires over the middle of the field, caught by DeMornay Pearsonell. That'll help you get back into rhythm. Oh, 21 but... yards. Kurt, this was gorgeous. Check out this. He's got uh, he's got a very small window between three Seattle defenders who are kind of yards away. He's got a 48-yarder earlier. This one from 38, no problem. He's into the end zone. Yeah, led him to the touchdown. And here he keeps it again and then throws it. Alonzo Moore. And there's that threat of the run making a difference, keeping pressure on this defense and turning into a big play for Seattle. Here comes the pressure. Daniels pulls it down, runs it, gets the first down, stays in bounds. Wrestled to the ground by Dexter McCoyle. Here comes the blitz. Over the middle, caught into the end zone for the touchdown, Evan Rodriguez really do anything for him. Yeah, it really is. Interesting to say the least. Daniels fighting for survival. To the end zone. Caught, but not held on to. Go. To the air this time. Deep down the left. Mumphrey caught. Another big play by this St. Louis offense and Tamu.
That 43 ball, on the pass. That ball was thrown absolutely perfectly. And Mumphrey got the step down the field. And it's the exact same scenario if you kick this field goal. Here's Russellino from 25 yards away. It is a seven-point lead. The handoff taken by Jaquan Gardner. Three yards and a whole lot more. Daniels over the middle. Intercepted. Will Hill with the pick. First turnover by either of these teams today. And it comes with less than four minutes left, and now there are flags as there are shots being given there on the sideline. Out of the shotgun. Two bats in the backfield. Ford back deep. He fakes the pitch to him, keeps it, and gets the first. He keeps it on the option. Sliding. They survived the B.J. Daniels show here in the second half. And that'll do it. Boy, go ahead and celebrate number 10 because you played sensational ball for your club today. In front of mom, dad, sister, aunt, uncle, everybody flying over from Hawaii to see him win this ball game 23-16.